all right so now we are going to go into the welcome screen so first off we are going to remove um, this header over here so I'm going to go into my stack navigator here and I'll say screen options so screen options right here and I say header shown false so here I'll say header shown I want it to be false that way that disappears okay good so now we are on the workout screen so here we are going to show the welcome message what I'm going to be doing here is that I will be using components because I don't want I don't want all of the code to be in a single place uh, which is something that's very recommended best practices so get into your SRC here okay make sure you click on SRC and uh, create a folder named components okay so we got the fold the component folder saying here I'll have welcome the JSX okay welcome the JSX and I'll type react native functional export and I have the welcome here and now I can go into my workout screen and here I'll just import welcome close this way and uh, yeah we have it over here so let's start with fixing this little thing because it takes going above everything so uh, we're gonna use something called the safe area view so with the safe area view there is going to be some padding automatically so that the content appears exactly where it should be so here I'm going to do a uh, safe area view so safe area view and we, we can import it from react native okay don't import it from react native uh, safe area context or wherever import it from react native okay and now when I press ctrl s it should be placed uh, at the right spot and for some reason it's not placed at the right spot so I'll, I'll reload it so actually this is exactly what you shouldn't do don't import it from react native okay do not import it from react native import it from react native safe area context okay you should do that yeah and now it gets it gets placed at the right spot okay good so now we are going to go here and um, learn how to use the custom fonts so I can go into my component here my welcome component and this is the place where we're gonna use the custom fonts so for that let me just open my browser and uh, here I wanna say expo fonts so we can come in the documentation so it's always best to get it from the documentation because sometimes there are updates and stuff or the packages are a little different I'm just going to reduce this and here we need to install this so we're gonna have to in install expo font and then we can use the fonts just like that okay so first of all just copy this get inside VS code turn off the server paste this enter get back here and now here we can type Google uh, here I'll say Google fonts okay so we got the fonts over here there's some filter so I'm going to be searching for the Balbi okay so Bal Balbi let's go for Cameron yeah I guess this is the one I used so Cameron is here and uh, we need to download it uh, so let me see so I'm going to download the family okay so it's here and I can open it so this is the font I'm going to be using in the code so I can get into my VS code here and we get assets and inside assets I want to create a folder called fonts so here I have fonts okay and inside of fonts I'm gonna drag and drop this font right here or oh I'm gonna use this one instead so here I am gonna drag it and drop it inside fonts okay and that didn't work because it's here it doesn't know about this thing so I'm gonna have to extract it somewhere and then drag and drop it so 
let me just open this here on Explorer. Okay. And here, that should work. Yeah, that one worked. Okay, good. So now we get the font over here because we're going to use this font now. So I can close this. I don't need this one anymore. And we get our font. So here, and um, the export font has been installed. So that's good. And now I can come here, or let me just show you with the documentation. So here, we're going to use Expo font. So we can do this by copying this this way. So I'm going to copy this, come here, paste that. And then we're going to check if it's loaded, if the font is loaded. So I'm going to copy this, okay? Come and put it inside my code. So inside of welcome, I'm just going to put this just like that. And here, um, the name is Balbi. So here is going to be Balbi. And here for the font, this is not correct. So... Let's go backwards, backwards, assets, fonts, and here we get this now. And here, instead of saying font loaded, oh yeah, I'll keep it font loaded because it makes more sense. So here I'll say, if the font is not loaded, if the font is not loaded, we're just going to return null. Otherwise, the text is going to be styled so let me just put this here and run the server again so that you can see the changes appear okay so now here for the styling I can say here style so here the style is going to be the following so inside here I'll say font family is going to be bulby but actually um, it doesn't really make sense because I'll, I'll just copy this and replace it here okay so the font family is going to be Cameron okay the font family is Cameron so here the font size the font size is going to be 27 okay and now I'll say text align center text align so let's say center and then I'll change the color so here the color is going to be equal to ash 92400 and an E and I can press Ctrl S and there we have it over here but for some reason they're saying font Cameron is not a system font and has been loaded through uh, let's see if I just put this back to Bulby because I'm not sure bowl B okay I'll reload it and let's see if something happens nope this time it's good this time it's good so yeah this is going to be for the welcome and I will see you in the next video